Barbie core pink, it's loud, it's trendy, and it's gonna be everywhere in 2023. But the question is, is Barbie core going to be for me? I recently did an episode on an amazing blue called Pacific Ocean Blue. And on that episode, I said, well, Barbie core is just not for me. So I took a little bit of a deeper dive into what was I really saying? And what I was really saying is, is wow, I really like hot pink. I think it's a cool trend. I'm just a little scared to wear it. And that's what got me. I'm like, no, you can't be scared. You tell people to wear what they want all day long and you need to basically do the same thing. And that's what today's episode is about. It's about how to embrace the Barbie core trend from just adding maybe a simple accessory to actually dressing head to toe in Barbie core hot pink. As always, I will have some shopping links for you down below. Just in case you see something you like, you can be like, ooh, I wanna try that too. And as always, remember to like and follow. And let's get started by embracing this Barbie core hot pink trend by starting simple. Starting simple. I started simple with a cozy sweater from H&M, but it's a cozy sweater with a real pop of color. I absolutely love that vibrant Barbie core pink. I have it with a pair of loose fitting jeans and my Jeffrey Campbell boots. First, you're gonna to wanna to slightly oversize your sweater. You already have this bright colored sweater, but I think just by adding that slight little oversized look really makes your Barbie core pink sweater very trendy. Next, you're gonna to wanna to keep your pants as contemporary as the color of that sweater. So what I did is I picked a pair of loose fitting jeans. Now these are not puddle pants, they're just a wide leg, well-fitting jean. Again, I wanted to stay with that trendy vibe and those wide leg jeans were the perfect jean to wear with this sweater. I'm always up for a pop of color for your shoes. And what I did on this outfit is I picked a pair of floral Jeffrey Campbell boots that I have. I absolutely loved how my sweater was solid, my jeans were solid, and then I had my pop of color on my shoes. So whichever boot or shoe you pick, with the solid sweater and the solid pants, just make sure you have some fun with your shoes. And there you go. You have your first outfit for starting on your Barbie core adventure. Style tip, it's really easy to elevate your Barbie core look just by adding some simple accessories. And what I did is I added a pink backpack and some pink glasses. So get one sweater and then just add some accessories to it and you are well on your way to embracing this Barbie core trend. Outfit number two, we wanna go bold and we wanna go bright. And I did that with a hot pink corduroy jacket, a little black cami, I have my Levi straight leg jeans on and my Doc Martin Chelsea boots. For this look, you wanna take your hot pink jacket and you're going to wanna make that one the focal point. And you're gonna do this by having your outfit being all the same color. By having the black cami, the black jeans and the black shoes, it really makes that shacket pop. Shackets are usually oversized, and for this look, I would suggest keeping your top and your jeans a little bit more fitted. Keep your boots or shoes the same color as the rest of your outfit. Now, I did wear my Doc Martin Chelsea boots, but Luxo loafers would look adorable with this outfit also. Style tip. Outfit number two definitely had a different vibe than the first outfit, and the jacket was a brighter, bolder pink. So really depending on how in depth in this trend you wanna get, you can either get a muted pink or you can get a in your face bright, bold pink. So it doesn't really matter what shade of pink, just so long as it is pink. Outfit number three, think bright and go big. This outfit is wide leg pants with a cropped cami and a cropped sweater with my lug sole shoes. For your pants, you're gonna to wanna to keep them wide legged but not oversized and not puddle pants. I felt like the color of these pants were already so bold and so bright, you didn't really need to go oversized and make them any more dramatic because the color has all the drama that you need and when I say drama, I mean good drama. For the shoes on this one, I say keep your shoes just as trendy as those pants. And I'm always saying that you need a pair of chunky lug sold loafers. And they are definitely as in style, as modern, and as hip as those pants. 
and they rounded out this outfit perfectly. You have your sweater and your top, a little bit more tailored, a little bit more form fitting. And of course, they had to bring along those lug soled shoes because you know what? It's all business from the waist up and your pants and your shoes are having a party. Outfit number four, pink with a pattern. My sweater is that cozy sweater from H&M and this time I paired it with a patterned skirt and my Doc Martin boots. But this time my Doc Martin boots are my burgundy Leona boots. For this look, you're gonna to wanna to pick a skirt that has a pattern. Now it doesn't matter if it's a big pattern or a little pattern, you just wanna make sure that it has some pink in it because we are edging our way to a head to toe Barbie core look. Again, my sweater from H&M, it's cozy, it's a slightly oversized, and it has that beautiful, bright, bold pink. I said earlier, I like my shoes to be bright and bold and pop with patterns and designs, but on this particular look, I suggest going with more of a solid color boot. Now, I picked my burgundy boot because I wanted to stay in that kind of pink theme. Again, just let your shoes be plain and let your skirt have all the fun. Style tip. If I had gone with a pattern boot, I really think it would have taken away from the skirt and the outfit in a whole. So yes, be bold and be brave with your shoes. Just know that sometimes it's okay to coordinate a little bit more and have a solid color shoe. Outfit number five. Barbie core, we have arrived. For this look, I have my cozy sweater from H&M. I have my wide leg pants and my Luxole loafers. Now for me, this is the embodiment of what Barbie core really is. It's pink from head to toe. You have your pink sweater, your pink pants. I have my pink backpack, my pink glasses. The only thing that wasn't pink were my lug sole loafers. And to me, this is the outfit that I was scared of. I felt like I was really pushing the boundaries of what my personal style is. And my tips for you on how you can be head to toe in hot pink are this. First, make sure that you're comfortable in what you're wearing. If you're the most comfortable in dresses, get yourself a pink dress with a pink jacket and then a pair of pointed toe boots. And start with that, because I couldn't imagine wearing head to toe pink in a style that I wasn't comfortable in. Tip number two, if you're gonna do pink pants, make sure that those pink pants are the fit that you like. And I mean, if you're more comfortable in a slim fit pant, don't go buy a pair of pink puddle pants because you're already, again, trying a new color. You don't need to be trying a new style that perhaps you're just not comfortable with. Tip number three, don't worry about what shades of pink you're picking. You can have a bright pink sweater with a lighter pink pair of pants. The outfit that I'm wearing, the pinks are not a perfect match, but they blended really well together. So don't focus too much on making sure that your pinks are the perfect match. Just have fun picking pink items and putting them together. My last tip is just have fun. You can pick whatever level of Barbie core you want for yourself and that's the perfect level. So don't think like, oh wow, if I don't wear head to toe pink, I can't wear any pink at all. Psh, don't worry about it. If you only want one piece, just wear one piece. And if you want everything head to toe pink, absolutely embrace it and do it. That is it. That's my adventure in Barbie core and my five outfits and my styling tips for it. I hope that you enjoyed watching my adventure in trying something new. I mean, I cannot sit here all day long and say, wear what you want and not do the same myself. I have to tell you on a personal note, I'm really proud of myself for trying this because it was outside of my comfort zone. I'm really glad I did. I really enjoyed it. And it's something that I'm gonna be incorporating into my wardrobe. And not only that, but it opened up a whole new world of color. I've got so much more color coming your way. You are gonna be surprised and I know you're gonna love it. So with that note, make sure to like and follow because you don't want to miss anything. You don't want to miss new style trends or me recreating an outfit or this amazing new color that I told you is coming our way. So again, wear what you want. And if it's pink, definitely wear that. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye. My final thought on this Barbie core trend is sometimes we let the fear of not knowing stop us. I found myself a little bit hesitant to try it because I just didn't know if I was gonna like it. And once I tried it, I absolutely did like it. And I really think it helps to remember that there's no set amount that you have to wear or you don't have to wear. There's no rules out there telling you that you have to wear this or you have to wear that. So start small. 
get yourself one item of hot pink, wear it, see how you like it, and then just add from there. If you stop at one sweater or one pair of pants, that's perfectly fine. But if you want to continue your Barbie core adventure and you wanna end up head to toe in hot pink, I say 100% embrace it and do it and have fun.